Rory Chaps. <laughs> what baffles? <laughs> Who are you, mate? Yeah. Hello, mate. I'm in the in the flesh. Ooh. Love the, love the colour of yours. Oh, good morning. It's a uh, sunny Sunday morning. 21st of August 2022 and we're off with Brian leading on a ride out to Tembury Wells for breakfast and we got Rob with us on his Z9 which I saw for the first time in the flesh today and it is a beautiful colour so uh, yeah so we're off to Tembury Wells Back from the uh, Scottish tour for a couple of weeks now, and what a tour that was! What an absolutely amazing tour! I didn't want it to end. In fact, when I got to the end of it, I wanted to turn around and go and do it again. It was just fabulous. Um, we're starting to edit the videos for that soon. I've got uh, three more videos for the Argyle and Butte tour to finish and upload then I can start on the uh, this Scottish tour including the NC500 so they'll be coming uh, I'd say late September October they'll start to be uh, start to be uploaded so a lot of work to do but what it was amazing it was absolutely stunning and uh, I've booked up already with Paul to go and do the Isle of Skye next year and uh, that should be another uh, epic tour so yeah so we're just uh, I'm off on me jollies to Torquay tomorrow so just uh, Brian arranged today and I just couldn't afford to miss a, uh, a ride out and a breakfast especially with the uh, with the sun shining uh, I'm wearing a new mesh jacket I bought from, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the place, uh, in West Bromwich. I'll put it in the uh, in the description below or on the uh, at the bottom of the video. Um, mesh jacket, I hadn't got one of these so this is my first mesh jacket. Uh, probably should have put something a bit more than a t-shirt under it because I am a bit chilly at the moment. But uh, as the day hopefully if it warms up it'll be... Uh, more than adequate but nice I like it I like it I think on a warm day it's going to be uh, the bee's knees so um, yeah now the owner of a mess jacket uh, you may have noticed a couple of uh, well you won't, won't have noticed it necessarily on uh, on the uh, Enfield yet I've uh, changed the mirrors fitted bar end mirrors because I couldn't be doing with the, uh, the Mickey Mouse ears that were on it before 
replace the mirrors I've put some uh, Union Jack tank protectors on or tank pads as they show as they're called tank pads and I have what else have I done uh, well, that's it oh yes you may notice a slight change in the sound ah uh, yeah I took the baffles out that's what I did anyway it sounds as fruity and lovely and the uh, and the uh, the sound is wonderful I'm loving it so I think they may well be staying out um, it's awesome I love the burbling and the, and the note I loved it with the baffles in and just to hear that wonderful engine now just to get a bit more throaty uh, beautiful and uh, as I say it's the overrun I like to hear as well that was the word I was looking for overrun uh, with the with the popping and uh, the banging, love it. Yeah, so, so it's been a fun. Don't think I've been out with Rob since the Northumberland tour in 2019 when he was on his Aprilia. So it's great to see Rob again. Uh, no, well, been out for a ride with Rob. I have seen him in between them, but I haven't been out for a ride with him since then. So it's nice to see Rob, and uh, I love that Z9 that he's got. Just love it, the colour, perfect. So uh, what I'll do, we'll get into a bit more uh, scenic part of the world, and I'll come back and we'll have a bit more of a uh, give you a bit more of an update with uh, with everything. And uh, see you shortly. Right, we're on the A four five six now. We're past Starbrook. We're on the way to Tembury. a few times before it is a lovely road first time I've ridden it on the uh, <coughs> Royal Enfield though I think I'm out the house earlier. Yeah. 20 past 9. Yeah, so um, booked up to, uh, to do the Isle of Sky with Paul next year in uh, July. Uh, really thinking what I'm going to do with the other guys. Uh, Kev's daughter's getting married, so you probably can't do a long trip. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking of doing a, a uh, the Isle of Wight, 
combined with South Wales around uh, the Gower Peninsula and down in South Wales on the coast down there. So that's my thoughts for uh, for the other tour for next year. So head down to the Isle of Wight, taking the scenic route. Do a, have a day really doing the Isle of Wight, stay over on the Isle of Wight, have a day doing the Isle of Wight. And then uh, head back and head over into South Wales. Uh, find some digs down in South Wales. And have a night or two down there. And uh, a pick off the southwest uh, corner of Wales. It's an area I've not really been to or I'm familiar with. North Wales covered most of that that peninsula down there taking the bubbles as well would be a great one to do I think. So that's my ideas. Alternatives are we'd have a look at Yorkshire. Uh, so there's those are there's a few ideas in the mix. The problem is is how sort of we'd have it done uh, Scotland the NC five hundred is where do we find that uh, comes even close to that and I think we've got oh, just lowered expectations we're not going to find anything that comes close to that but let's go and see somewhere we haven't seen the Isle of Wight seems I've never been to the Isle of Wight and I haven't really done South Wales I don't think the others have either that's uh, Kev, Brian, Paul so we'll have a look at that Potentially August or late August. Uh, year away. Uh, year away. I didn't sleep very well at all last night. I'm overexerting myself, doing gardening and cutting me kind of a hedge at the front of the house. Oh, that thing's got to go. That is hard work to maintain when you do have to cut it. Uh, I'll have to say off to I'll have my jollies tomorrow down to Torquay um, for five days then on Monday back on Friday so that'll give me another opportunity to be out next weekend on the bikes weather permitting I may try and get a little bit further afield I want to go and do health uh, Hellfire Pass and oh, I haven't seen Lake Vernwe uh, so I might go and do that so we shall, we shall see the traffic down here this morning of the Royal Enfield play.
pretty full up anyway. <laughs> Very well. Have a look here, mate. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Cool.
tyres. Rob obviously trying to uh, even up the wear on his tyres. Right, well, had a delicious uh, breakfast at the Riverside Cafe, Tembury Wells. Thank you, Rob, for buying us that. That was wonderful. Um, very, very nice. So now we're off back. Uh, well, I don't know. A great, uh, great ride out, Roy. You did well today. Found us a very uh, pleasant route. Field. I just <laughs> love it. It's such an awesome bike. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> ideas for further enhancement. I'm going to stay on the new mirrors, but I'm going to adjust the one on the left slightly. Uh, the left hand side slightly. Uh, but ideas, uh, I want to change the seat. I want to change the mud guards, I want to put a brown leather seat on it. I'm going to uh, uh, tape the uh, the grips, uh, put a brown leather seat on it. I'm probably going to put uh, brushed stainless steel or possibly chrome mud guards on it. Uh, what else would I, what am I thinking of doing with it? Uh, might do a few little blingy bits like uh, right at the end Royal Enfield cover for this <coughs> excuse me I've got to black these off Paul's giving me some uh, some rubber bunks which I need to uh, need to fit in to uh, cover up where the mirrors have been removed uh, I was going to do that yesterday but I forgot so uh, I might put a little rack on the back of it um, just for carrying me a little uh, a little luggage pack a little a little uh, little rack on the back I may get the side panel uh, bag that drops in the uh, on the right hand side where the side panel goes black bag for that uh, that'd be quite nice and I want to paint some of the uh, the grey bits on here that I'm not overly keen on uh, so I want to paint them uh, and there we go so we've got lots of little ideas of things I want to do with this because it's just an infinitely customizable bike and uh, just little things to I love these mirrors they're so good just got to get the position back on on the one so I'm going to get out with a slight adjustment um, so that's my ideas for it uh, and I think it'll just be superb then just be uh, everything I want in me uh, in me Sunday rides out bike as I'm getting closer to home now I'm going to close down the video or end the video uh, as always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Not much of a ride out today, just a little uh, noodle around really. Uh, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give us a like and leave a comment. Uh, and I'll see you again soon for some more of our, uh, our shenanigans. Take care and I'll see you soon.